Backing up files is a relatively straightforward process. The first thing that you would need to do is plug a USB thumb drive into the USB port of the DVR. Once that happens, it will come up that it found the USB device. You can click File Backup. You can also back up your logs or back up your system configuration. Another way to get to the backup menu is by right clicking on the screen, clicking Main Menu, and then clicking the Backup button. This is the backup window. You can select your start date and time, your end date and time, what channels you'd like to back up. If you select all and click add, it will actually give you a list of all the available recordings for all channels within that date and time frame. So as you can see over here on the left, you have the channels 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. You have your start time, your end times, and the amount of space that each one of these file chunks would actually take up. Now, as I mentioned, this DVR records things in chunks, so you have to know at least the general time frame around which an event happens, and sometimes it'll fall between where the start time and end time of a given chunk is. Other times, it'll be between two of them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm only going to back up this one right here. It's channel one. It's a short clip. It shouldn't take too long to back up. Now you do have an option here, your file format. There's two of them you can select from. First one is DAV and the second one is ASF. Now DAV files are proprietary to this particular DVR, meaning that you would have to use a specific piece of software to actually open and play back that video file. On the other hand, there is the ASF format. ASF format is a more universally recognized video format. So if you want to give this file to somebody else, I would suggest backing it up in ASF because there's more video players out there that can actually use this ASF file format. So once you have your video selected, you just check off the section that you actually want to back up. You click the backup button and the progress bar will start there on the bottom. You can see the remaining time down here and the amount of time that it's going to take to complete backing up. Once this is done, you can simply remove the USB thumb drive, plug it into any sort of computer machine, and you will have the backup file available there for you. In the event that you choose to back up a file as a DAV, once the backup is completed, it'll show you a list of all the files that you've backed up you'll see that you do have the DAV file over here. Now, as I said before, a piece of software is required to play a DAV file. That being said, when you do back it up as DAV, it will include the software. It's called Smart Player, and you can install this on your PC, and it will allow you to play back the standard DAV file.